Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Today, we're going to be taking out some Oyas, which are a clay vessel that you put into your garden beds to help retain water. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've already taken out some Oyas uh, from beds that I've already cleared, but these ones we actually just cleared earlier on today, so I'm going to just take them out. Really excited. This was the first year I used Oyas. Um, I don't know if like that's the actual name or the brand of this particular clay vessel, but they're really, really cool because like I said, um, you'll see when they come out, there's just like a beautiful um, cylinder, circular ball, and they um, you pour water in the tops, right? And it just fills up and stay there. And as the plants and the soil need more moisture, the water just slowly um, leaks out of the clay vessel, right? So that's basically how these work. It's really lovely. You don't have to top water your garden nearly as often. And the other thing is, of course, when it's a lot hotter out, right? If you're top watering constantly, you're losing a lot of the water. It's getting evaporated into the air, right? So this is kind of like a way to keep it into the soil, um, not get used as much. So you're retaining water, you're saving it. And it actually builds stronger root systems for your plants as well, because they have to kind of work a little harder to get to the water. So it's really, really cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. We're just gonna get right into this and dig these bad boys out. Don't think I have time to clean them today, unfortunately, but I will most likely be getting like a nice big bucket after and filling it with a little bit of warm water and vinegar, giving them a really good scrub, letting them dry, and then putting them away in the winter. The thing is, right, they're water vessels, and if snow and, um, you know, moisture were to get them in my climate, they would freeze and crack if I left them in the soil. So that is the one thing you have to do. They do require a little bit of maintenance. And then, of course, in the spring, once the final frost has passed, just dig them right back in before you put your plants in. So yeah, I really liked it. I'll probably buy a few more for more planters, but let's get to digging these guys out. Let's go. All right, but one thing is you gotta make sure you're careful. Obviously you don't wanna be like shoving your shovel into the clay here like that. <laughs> okay, ah, there we go. Let's see, let's pop this bad boy out. <laughs> I've already taken like five out and I just broke this one. Great, okay. So, lesson, what not to do. Don't do that, don't use a shovel. We're not gonna use a shovel. That sucks, these things aren't cheap. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I literally said it. And then as I was I was like, just be careful with your shovel. Crap. What's wrong with me? Okay. There we go. Much better. I don't know why I decided that a shovel was a good idea because I literally have not used one to take out all of my other ones. I'm just trying to impress you guys, you know what I mean? It's clearly not working. All right, this guy's a mini one, he's so cute. <laughs> Why did I even use a shovel? It came out so easily. These are smaller though. These are smaller than the other ones. <laughs> I wish I didn't take so many out now because like, I feel like this is this is such a shell of a video <laughs> because I just broke the one and uh, the rest have already pulled out successfully. But maybe that's better that I did that because watch me like break more of them while I was filming or something like that. But anyways, these are what they look like. They're super cute. I'm going to go put these with the other ones. Let's go. 
All right. So I already pulled out these five big ones. I think these are a large size. And then these ones, these ones seem like they're small. Like I don't even know if I bought any medium ones, right? That I feel like there might be a level in between these ones. So yeah. Well, these ones are all great. These are all in fantastic condition. So really happy about that. I'm just a terrible person and just smashed one for no good reason. Oh, this one I, okay, see, there you go. This one I definitely kind of almost broke. So yeah, I gotta figure out a way to maybe not do that again. <sighs> Damn it. But yeah, like I was saying, I really like Oya's. Definitely gonna go order a few more. And I think, I think that's all I had. Yeah, because I didn't put any here. Didn't have any over there. I knew I was like missing a few that I really wanted in the garden. But yeah, okay. Damn. Damn. Okay. All right. So here's the cracked one. Um, I think, yeah, most... <laughs> I just shoved itself into him. Poor little guy. So yeah. Oh gosh. And yeah, there's like a... Oh my goodness. Dang. So there's like a huge crack here and here. So... I don't think there is any saving him. That's extremely unfortunate. Hmm. I was like, maybe I could make something out of him. I'm not really sure, but don't, don't be like me. <laughs> that was just the silliest thing in the world. Oh, well, I'll grab some more. But yeah, like I said, they've done so well for me this year. I really did enjoy them. I had like three in there so I'll probably grab like four I think four more that would be like really really cool it's definitely getting colder here so I've been trying to get as much done in the garden as possible I still have so many like bulbs to dig in things to clean I love my trees so much but I will say that like cleaning my garden in the fall is absolutely insane but that kind of comes secondary to things like this because we are going to be getting some hard frost soon. I think it is like November. It's crazy. So I definitely wanted to get these out of the ground and get them cleaned and stored. Um, I don't have time today to clean them. It's going to, the sun's going to go down really soon and the temperature definitely starts to drop at night. So we're not going to do that today, but maybe soon um, I'll probably film like a TikTok or an Instagram reel on my Wolf of the Wilds accounts for the cleaning of these. So make sure you go follow me there. If you haven't, I post, uh, I post lots of content actually, especially on my Instagram. I got to get better with reels. I'm like, not, not reels, uh, TikTok. I'm so like, I don't know. I have a love hate relationship with TikTok. Let me know how you feel about TikTok. Do you, are you an Instagram reels person or are you a TikTok person? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. That'd be amazing. But yeah, guys, anyways, that's it for today's video. I broke things. So I guess it was time. I haven't broken anything in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It was time. Oh, well. <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a wonderful evening make sure you like and subscribe 